We are now joined by Michael Tudekasa. He's an economist and the CEO of the Africa Business Group. Michael, thank you for joining us on Africa Live. China is targeting a GDP growth of over 6%. This by opening up more sectors and engaging more with its international partners, among other plans. How can Africa leverage on this? Well, I think it's uh, definitely going to be an opportunity for African exporting nations uh, the minerals community, the agricultural community, to basically look at China as the market that it's been over the years. I also think that there's an opportunity to seek investment from China. Uh, infrastructure has been one of the areas that's led the way. And then lastly, uh, although um, there may be controversy about this, there are a number of African countries that have seen their debt levels to China rise significantly. And in the other, the OECD countries, they're looking now for debt relief. I think that this would be a good opportunity to also look to China for debt relief for those countries that are highly indebted to China, since China will be doing better than most countries in the world. So many of Africa's economies were badly hit by COVID-19. And what lessons can Africa learn from China's approach to getting its economic growth back on course? Well, one of the lessons, and, and I was recently saying this to a colleague, is that China had the capacity to actually develop a vaccine and treat its own people. China is not waiting for all of the, the Western pharmaceutical uh, country companies to actually provide it with a vaccine. It, it really, in the 21st century, is going to be increasingly a crime that Africa cannot produce uh, the vaccines that are needed, the medicines that are needed to to take care of its population. Uh, I think that was the, the, one of the biggest factors, uh, China's ability from a health, public health standpoint to stem the flow of, of COVID-19 last year and into this year that allowed them to bounce back, uh, I won't say unscathed, but it felt like compared to the rest of the world, uh, basically for the last six months, China's been just uh, rebuilding its economy and not as worried and concerned about all the challenges that the West, Europe and US and South America have had to deal with vis-a-vis -vis, uh, this pandemic. So to me, that's a lesson. If you, if you really want to uh, protect your economic successes, you have to be able to protect the health of your people. Michael Sudikasa joining us there via Zoom from Johannesburg.